Hi friends, uh, today's the longest day of the year and I wanted to do a quick video of a walk through the garden and um, this is kind of a tale of two gardens and way in the background you can see a new peach tree and then um, uh, we've got another apple tree back there but uh, just to start out with the food garden We've got some uh, garlic growing here that's uh, very close to being ready to harvest. Uh, radishes, the carrots just didn't come up, they, the rabbits just kept getting them. And a few brassicas back there, onions in the background not doing that well. Um, we put some tomatoes and peppers in this area relatively recently. As soon as those garlic come out, probably going to harvest the radish too and uh, put bush beans in and try to get that as a crop um, yet this year. Got a little bit going here. These are herbs, basil and parsley. Behind the garage is uh, Hugel Culture Bed. <clears throat> what I'm getting is this ground cover is taking over and um, it's kind of shady here, and I think I made a mistake by planting strawberries. And um, I think strawberries need more sunlight than what they're getting in this area, so they're not really doing too much. Um, I've got here and there, I've got uh, brassicas that I planted in here, and I've seeded, broadcast seeded quite a bit, but not really um, a lot happening. We're just in the beginning of the warm season, so I am hoping that um, things are going to start happening now. I know a lot of people have problems with their garden right now just because it's been so cold. Here you've got uh, hops running up uh, lines that go up quite a ways, and um, then Starting in this area, uh, I've got asparagus coming up, and asparagus seems to like this place quite a bit. I think next year I might add asparagus to this area. And um, the bees, uh, bees still seem to be quite active. The, um, that's really the only way I have to judge if they're happy or not, but uh, definitely they are active. Uh, especially in warm weather. They don't like cold weather too much. This is an area I'm kind of disappointed in. It's an old um, mulch pile, compost pile, and uh, I've planted a lot of things in it, but they all seem to die. Um, I don't know. This, this area should have done better. You know, the insects um, are pretty strong here, and I don't know. There's just something about it. This section right here is one of the experiments. This is new. I've actually only been gardening for four years, um, and for three of those years I only had a tiny garden, that brick uh, area that you saw earlier with the uh, peppers and garlic and um, radish. This area, all I did here was uh, dump wood chips on the ground. That's all I did, um, and it's actually not going too well, but beans seem to be growing here, which beans are good. Beans are pretty tough. I've got um, climbing beans, pole beans um, down this whole way. I do have grapes. Grape. I've actually lost about five grapes and bought a few more, and this is one of the second tries. It does seem to be living. What I've been doing is uh, I fertilize with 12-12-12, a dry mix, and um, every about once a week and um, um, I wasn't going to do that but I kind of decided I needed to try to save my garden. I do have a couple of uh, cucumbers here as well. There in the center of the screen right there. And uh, anyway this is kind of uh, hopefully it's going to be going. And another grape and beans. Here are my blueberries. They're looking pretty sad. Um, I got a few leaves on that one. This one is really good. This is an Elliott blueberry. The others are blue crop. 
and then I got three more but um, one is dead and two are just barely hanging in there and this garden is another garden that um, I really just dumped wood chips on the ground and and um, that's all I did. Now this set of gardens is new this year and it's interesting because it shows um, there are different types of methods here. On the right you have a double dug garden. Um, further back away from the camera is a um, it's mainly compost and it's leaf mulch together with uh, various kitchen scraps and um, I've got onions and leeks in there and that's doing really good and occasionally some other seeds fell in there too while I was broadcast seeding. I think there's a radish in there too. Um, that is doing excellent. I'm quite happy with that. Then uh, closer to the camera it's a double dug and then composted cow manure was put down and wood chips were put on top. And this has had some really difficult times. Um, we we did have some success with mustard green and you, those are the ones you see there and we've actually harvested some and eaten quite a bit. Um, you know the beginning of the season I, I put together some soil plugs and I only have a few of the plants survive and here is one this is uh, celeriac I believe it might be celery but that's one of the few that survived and since then I've reseeded, broadcast seeded um, and also purchased some brassicas to put in uh, this bed. So um, this bed I would say it's doing okay but not that great and um, I am really uh, not really thrilled with wood chips as, as a bedding uh, for a garden bed. On the other side here it is a no-till bed and what I did was I put manure down, composted cow manure, and then cardboard and then um, wood chips. And I went crazy with wood chips. I put a lot of wood chips. And this area it's just starting to go but earlier on they, everything just kept dying. I, I would plant, I planted my soil plugs and um, you know, I planted my soil plugs a month ago, or maybe more, and here I'm going to focus in on a kale here. That kale is, has hardly grown at all from the size it was when it was a soil plug, and there's just something wrong with, the, with this type of bed, and I do have radishes that took off, but if you look, they're kind of in an area where there's not a lot of wood chips. So I have some theories about what happened. And I guess what I'll say is I think that you should not use more than about two inches of wood chips if you're going to use them at all. And um, leaf mulch, if you're going to bring something in to add it to your garden, leaf mulch is the way to go. Wood chips will hold water. Um, wood chips, my wood chips have very good uh, uh, mycorrhizae or whatever they are, the the um, uh, mushrooms, I get quite a few mushrooms coming out of that which I believe is healthy but um, my plans for next year I'm gonna focus on leaf mulch I was hoping that I would have these beds finished and and working well for quite a while but um, I think that uh, next year what I'm going to do is bring in some more leaf mulch and I'll probably dig away some of the wood chips and um, put the leaf mulch down and then put maybe an inch or two of, of wood chips on top of the leaf mulch. Um, that's uh, what I'm hoping to do. You know, I think that the people that are successful with wood chips they get their wood chips after putting them on the bottom of a chicken pen because uh, I think probably wood chips would be fantastic if uh, if I did that but you know I just took them from the chipper pretty much so a lot of these um, are direct seeded probably a lot of them are radishes I've been trying to get something to grow here and finally I'm seeing some results for 
such many plants in this bed have died. A lot of the larger plants that you see were purchased and planted in later. So um, here's what I've got. Uh, whoops, I'm trying to figure out. You know, here's uh, an example. Nice little icicle radish. Um, this is um, this is almost too big. These things are kind of spicy. I I prefer them when they're small, but I just haven't uh, harvested here yet. And. Um, I'll be harvesting these soon. So that's my walkthrough, you know, some success, uh, a lot of struggles keeping things alive, and I did lose a lot of plants, but, um, you know, I've, uh, this is only my fourth year now, and this was my original garden, you, and the one thing I would say here, I ran out of uh, compost, I ran out of composted leaf mulch this year, and I didn't put any on this garden. In the past, I always put all my mulch on top of this garden, and I had fantastic success. And um, I really think the key to uh, success in a garden is using mulch that is leaf mulch or compost of some kind. And um, wood chips may have their place, you know, uh, but. I'm not sure where they fit in. I just have had um, pretty poor luck with wood chips and um, really don't recommend that route at all. So it's uh, solstice day. I uh, hope everybody enjoys the longest day of the year and um, it's quite nice to be here. We've had a little bit of rain and uh, I it's getting hot during the day, but it's still cool at night, and, and we're just starting to enjoy the warm weather. So thank you for watching.